Question 12. Right, here we go. So let's start off with this u equals 1 plus root x. That's going to be the first thing I'm going to change is just how I write that. Okay, we're doing the substitution. So if I see this, I'm thinking, well, I wonder what du over dx is. In other words, well, it's a bit weird because we're integrating, integrating, but I'm telling you to differentiate this. So if I differentiate this, then we get drop the power and multiply by that half. There we go. Okay, how's this going to be useful? Well, I'll tell you what we could do here is maybe just write this is x to the minus a half. So maybe write it like that. So it just gets rid of that negative power. Wait a minute. If x to the half, that must be equal to u minus 1. I'm just going to write that down there. u minus 1 equals x to the half. So that's going to be useful. Wait a minute. I wonder if I could put that over here. There's another clue in the question, u minus 1. Sometimes if you're not sure, look at where you're trying to get to. So du over dx would equal 1 over 2 u minus 1. There we go. So that's du over dx. So if I multiply it over here by dx and then bring this over this side, what we get is that du multiplied by this denominator must be equal to dx. Right, OK. Now let's come back and start figuring out what on earth's going on over here. So I'm going to give myself a bit of space. I'm going to do it down, down here. I wouldn't normally be doing all the workings up here. So let's just rewrite this. Now I'm not going to worry about those limits for a minute. Just, just forget about those for a second. What have we got? We've got, well, this is u. The denominator is, is u. dx. Well, dx is equal to, to this lot just here. So let's write that instead. So that's 2u minus 1, and then that's multiplied by du. Right, what's going to go just here? Well, I need x to go there, but it's not going to be useful if I put x there. But I know that root x is equal to u minus 1. So therefore, if I square root x, and I've got x, haven't I? So x must be equal to u minus 1 squared. So I'm going to put that, whoops, minus 1 squared. Um, and now this is the same as this bit just here. Look, here we go. That's the same as, as that. I'm just going to multiply by, so what have I got? I've got u minus 1 to the 3 now, and then it's all over u du. Now what I've not done is I've not worked out what the new limits are. Well let's have a look. Let's take that 16 that we had there. We probably should be doing it from up here. So let's take that 16 and let's just feed it into this. So 1 plus root 16 is equal to 5. So there's going to be our first limit and then when we've got 0 so 1 plus root 0, that equals 1. So I'm going to put a 1 there. There we go. So we found out what our two limits are here. All right, 5 and 1, and we've got to this stage here. Right, now so for part B of the question, part B now says, right, so do this. and show that this is the answer. Um, obviously we're going to find out what A and B are. But in other words, we're going to do this. This is what it's asking us to do. Now, I was trying to have a look at this and trying to think about the easiest way of doing the question. And to be honest, it's u minus 1 to the power of 3. So I thought, well, to be honest, it's easier. I think the easiest thing to do is just to multiply out that numerator. So let's just multiply out that numerator. So that's where we're going to start. So if I multiply out that numerator, so if I just concentrate on u minus 1 to the power of 3, right, so I'm, I'm going to jump a little bit and multiply it by 2. So all I'm going to get there with my numerator is going to be, so like I said, I've just jumped a step here just to speed it up a little bit for you. And all of that's over u. So that's that, is that bit. Just expanded it. That's all I've done. And 
du. Okay, so I'm going to get it into a form that I can actually integrate. So if I just divide this up, what's that going to give me? That's going to give me 2u squared. All, right, all I'm doing is I'm just dividing through by this u here. Minus 6u plus 6 minus 2 over u. So that's what we're going to integrate. Now that's that's in a form that I can do. If I had any one of these bits here, I should be able to integrate it. Well, now let's integrate it. Let's see where we get to. So if I integrate this, raise the power, and divide by it as well. Minus. So I've got, I raise that power and then divide by the 2 as well. 6 over 2 is, is 3. And then we've got plus, so that'll just be 6 u there. And should know, if I integrate this, that's just going to be 2 multiplied by ln u. If you're not sure about that, then go and, go and have a look at those questions. All right, there we go. So let's put, pop in our limits, 5 and 1 there. Now, just be careful with the arithmetic, that's all, all right? So when you're going to go and write this out, just write it out in full, first of all. So you've got 2. And it's just avoid making a mistake. If you just go and write all the fives in there first of all, so right, don't try. If you try and work stuff out as you go, there's a good chance you're going to mess it up as you go through. So six and whoops, and a five, and then I got minus two and five. So that's the answer to the first bit. Then I'm going to take away, and I'm going to sub in one. So that's, well, that's a little bit easier to sub in, isn't it? Because that's just two thirds. So that's u to the power of three. That's one to the power of three. So that's just one, isn't it? So I can do this as I go. I'm only going to do five. So minus three plus six and minus two ln one. Well, that, that's zero because ln one is, is zero. So that bit, that's just going to disappear all right happy for that okay work this out that's going to give you 115 over 3 take away 2 ln 5 and then going to take away 11 over 3 that's the answer to this and then that gives us 104 over 3 take away 2 ln 5 now just last little check make sure it makes sense where were we trying to get to? Yeah, we're happy. We've got something that's in the same kind of form as what we've got here. It's the LUN5. Look, that, that just makes me feel pretty confident that I've done the right thing.